13's Abby Acconi is tracking it all. Yeah, that's right. Wind alert level two today because we see could see gusts at or exceeding 50 miles per hour. And then, of course, we've got a general weather alert because we have been dealing with some pockets of snow. For the most part, the snow is cleared up for this point in time. Even seeing some breaks of blue sky. This is I-25 and Guard of the Gods. It's our underwater connection. Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Live HD Doppler radar still showing a few lingering showers in the Pikes Peak region. More uh, showers up toward Castle Rock, stretching out to the east of the Mile High City. As we expected, these showers have, for the most part, come to an end during the lunch hour. Still some areas of some flurries as you're heading between Colorado Springs up toward Monument. Now, that's what's happening in the Pikes Peak region. Elsewhere in the far southeastern plains, we've got all the ingredients lined up for elevated fire danger, gusty conditions of dry fuels, and low relative humidities. You can track where snow is happening. You can also take a look at how wind speeds are faring all through our Storm Tracker 13 weather app. Throughout the afternoon and into tonight, we could see some very isolated rain and snow showers once more within the Pikes Peak region. Some wet roads, a possibility. Can't rule out light snow accumulation, but it looks like those showers will be the exception rather than the rule. Most areas seen a mixture of sunshine and clouds. We stay chilly the, this afternoon with highs in the 30s and the 40s. Skycast shows that into 4 o'clock, perhaps some stray showers within the Pikes Peak region taking place. Similar story through 6 p.m. Into the overnight time frame, could be some spotty showers, but for the most part, I'm going with a dry forecast overnight. It's going to be tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look tomorrow at 5. When more snow ramps up, I'm expecting that snow on and off throughout the day tomorrow. Afternoon. Snow tracker shows that through Saturday, so this is uh, including today, tomorrow, into Saturday, a trace to two inches in Woodland Park, a trace to an inch in Monument, which is a trace in Pueblo, over 10 inches of snow possible in the high country locations. Overnight lows dipping to the teens and the 20s. High temperatures tomorrow, so much cooler thanks to today's cold front. Tomorrow we drop to the 30s and the 40s. Now, tomorrow we've got a high of 32 in Colorado Springs. We will be slightly warmer this upcoming weekend, keeping in a slight chance for showers on Sunday, drier every other day, with temperatures in the 40s and 50s as we go into next work week. Within Pueblo, 38 for tomorrow, keeping in that possibility for rain and snow tomorrow. Could be pockets of reduced visibility in wet roads. Upper 40s this weekend with the 50s in store for us on Monday. For Canyon City, 35 for tomorrow, upper 40s on Sunday. Once more, Sunday looking to be uh, slightly unsettled. Nothing overly impressive, widespread or intense, but we'll keep a close eye on those shower chances for you. Finally, for Teller County, 27 tomorrow, 30% chance for some scattered rain and snow with light snow accumulations tomorrow. 30s this weekend, 40s return on Monday. Another check of Live HD Doppler radar coming up next. I really like your, uh, your little Oscar statues there on the forecast. Of course, the Oscars on KRDO News Channel 13 on Sunday. And then the red coverage, red carpet coverage starting about 3 o'clock. I'm yeah. going to be watching that, let me tell you. All right. Thanks, Abby. Yep. Her recovery efforts are underway in San Jose.